Today, I'm gonna to show you how to program a battery monitor. This is the lead time battery monitor shunt from lead time power. The battery that I wanna monitor is inside my homemade solar generator power station. I made a complete how-to guide video for making this DIY solar generator. I'll link to that video at the end of today's video. My solar generator has AC power ports from a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter, DC power ports with multiple USB ports, and a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Before I do anything, I'm gonna fully charge this battery, let it rest, and I'm gonna measure the voltage. That's gonna be my fully charged battery's resting voltage, and that's gonna be important later. I have fully charged the battery until the wall charger turned off. I've let the battery rest for about an hour. Let's take the meter and take a reading and get our resting voltage. Switch over to DC. Voltage looks like it's 13.36. To monitor the battery, I have to program my battery monitor shunt. The first step in the process is to drain the battery completely down to zero and let it rest for 30 minutes. To do that, I'm gonna use my heat gun. This is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna do that off camera. Lead Time Power partnered with me for my solar generator build, and they've been pretty great to work with. All the products that they've sent me have been amazing for my project. From the 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery to the pure sine wave inverter, plug-in wall charger, and my battery monitor shunt honestly have made my project pretty daggone cool. If you want to check out lead time for yourself, I'll put a referral link down in the video description. If you use code Mr. Fred at checkout, you'll get a discount. The battery is all drained and it has rested for 30 minutes. I'm gonna plug in this wall charger and we're gonna wake this thing up. The next step is to hook up the battery monitor. I'm gonna stick this thing back in the hole and plug it in. First, we're gonna program the capacity of the battery. That's the usable capacity of the battery as instructed in the user's manual. So the rated capacity for my battery is 100 amp hours. To begin the setup, I'm gonna press and hold this button. To set the capacity, you use these arrows. I'm setting mine to 100 amp hours. Now we're gonna arrow down and set the resting voltage. Remember, that's the voltage that we determined early with our battery from a fully charged rested status. Mine was 13.3 volts. On this monitor, to get back to the home screen, you press the top and the bottom buttons together. Now I'm gonna plug it into the wall charger and we'll find out two things. We'll find out how long does it take to recharge this system with the wall charger? And let's see if this screen goes to 100%. The battery monitor now says 100%. And with the wall charger, it took five hours and 11 minutes to charge. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them in the comments section down below. And don't forget to check out the build video for my DIY solar generator. I'm glad you watched and I hope you'll watch again.